Hi and welcome to Blender Source. My name is Michael Novello and today I want to show you a real quick tutorial how to create a wall, a stone wall, a really cool looking stone wall without any modeling. This is a really fast trick. Um, it's usable for, yeah, not for game models, but for if you have a still uh, life scene going on or it's for 3D printing, it's perfect. So just relax, lean back, have fun, and watch the trick. So now we are in Blender and this is the end result we are looking for. And this is really cool and simple. Uh, I just make a new Blender file here real quick, don't save that. And I get rid of the default cube, add a plane, rotate it in X by 90 degrees, and uh, 90 degree rotate x 90 degrees like that go into front view and then i'm going to subdivide that several times let's go with that and here as well like this uh, the more you subdivide your model the more details you have at the end so now i'm going to edge selection i select these edges here because I want to use a subdivision surface modifier and by using the mean grease the edge the edges will stay straight so now we go to the subdivision surface modifier and i use for subdivision for the viewport and for the render next step is to add a displacement modifier displace and i want to have a new displacement texture and I'm using a height map we are using for our game Empires and Tribes. This is just a stone wall. Uh, you can use any stone wall you find. Uh, there are plenty of uh, sources for these maps here. For one example, it's texture, textureheaven.com. You can download there several textures or just build your own textures with, um, I think, Crazy Bump is the, the program or the software it's called. And I'm using that. So open image. And now we can see it looks really crazy here and does not look like a ball. So we have to do so, several steps here. At first, I'm going to UV unwrap that. And I'm going to UV editing, go to my wall texture, and I'm going to scale this down so that it fits in one section of my texture here, just like that like this and it still looks looks not like a wall and that's because we have to change the direction here uh, not, not the direction sorry the coordinates to uv <clears throat> and we have to lower the strength of that so i'm going with the strength of one uh, point let's go with point one so and as you can see it looks pretty good but it looks, looks a bit a little bit unsharp and we can just subdivide this another time and it looks better. The more you subdivide, the better is the outcome down, the more details you have. So this is how you can use that really quick, really fast without moving any vertices. And just by moving the, this uh, UV map here, this UV, UV uh, we here we can create another wall if i duplicate down real quick and i move it in the x direction and i just move that like this okay as you can see now we have another another texture and this is useful for uh, 3d printing it's really cool you get really fast, really high detailed walls if you want to create a wall or a, a medieval uh, building or something like that. This is really a good method to use. Or if you have a still life scene where you have no animation or something like that, then this is the method you are search for. So, okay, that's it. And yeah, if you like it, 
just subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell and see you in the next video. Bye bye.